Gas station crimes have been a point of concern for residents all over Metro Atlanta, and some South Atlanta neighbors say they don't need another one in the area. Yeah, they claim there are more than a dozen gas stations within a mile and a half of each other, and another one is on the way. Fox Eyes' Eric Perry joins us live tonight with the neighbors' concern. Eric? Yeah, Russ, Courtney, good evening to you both. Loitering, crime, and traffic, just some of those concerns. Let's kind of walk you through this area. You see that sign over there, that BP coming soon. But right behind me, you can see this Texaco right across the street. About a half a mile down, there are three gas stations. And then down this road here, there are another two gas stations as well. I'm a little frustrated, honestly. There's never an excuse to run out of gas if you're in southeast Atlanta. Within a 1.5 mile radius of this gas station that's being built right here, we have about 15 other gas stations that currently exist. And so it's a matter of like, do we need another gas station? Gio Gerard is one of many neighbors living in the Boulder Crest and Eastland Road area, not far from East Atlanta Village. But another planned gas station has many saying their tanks are full when it comes to the businesses. We're just concerned that it's going to add more traffic, more noise, more more blight and more importantly just take away from the residential feel that barely exists here today. Take a look at this map which shows where the new gas station will go and the dozens other nearby between Gresham Road and the I-20 exit, Moreland Avenue and Flat Shoals and I-20 exit. If you look at the Atlanta you know crime map there's a lot of crime concentrated at a lot of the different gas stations. I mean, even so that DeKalb County and even City of Atlanta require gas stations to have these bright lights. It's a tricky area as this is right on the DeKalb County and City of Atlanta line. But Fox 5 has covered numerous shootings and robberies at gas stations in both jurisdictions. Those in favor of the gas station say it could be a safe place for those without homes to use the restroom to provide a meal source for the community. Gerard hopes leaders in both counties will come together for a plan for all. I can't say this will stop this gas station being built, but for future gas stations or things that might impact the quality of life for the local residents, I hope the local residents have more of a say in the process. All right, and back out here live, we've reached out to the representative for the Atlanta City Council and also on the DeKalb County Commissioners. We are waiting to hear back. That's the latest here in Southeast Atlanta. I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. Eric, thanks.